The mnemonic that we like to teach for uh, recognizing a stroke is BFAST, B-E-F-A-S-T. This stands for many components that we may see in somebody who's having a stroke. You may have one or more of these components. You may sometimes have uh, all of them. But you know, once we recognize this, we want people to be able to seek care. So the B stands for balance. So if all of a sudden you are having trouble walking, trouble with coordination, that's uh, one of the things to look for. E is eyes. So if all of a sudden uh, there's difficulty with vision, usually missing vision on one side um, of the world or another, so you can't see anything on the right, can't see anything on the left. Or the other thing we look for with eyes is that the eyes are all of a sudden pointed in one direction or another, so all of a sudden somebody is only able to look to one side. F is face, so when we see that the face uh, has uh, is uneven, there's asymmetry, and then there's a droop in one side of the face when they're smiling if only one side of the face is moving, or when they're talking and only one side of the mouth is moving. That's what we look for there. A stands for arms. This can also go with legs, but again, we're looking for problems with one side of the body. So one arm isn't moving or one leg isn't moving. Though sometimes in unusual situations, it can be both sides. S is going to be speech, so either somebody's unable to speak, unable to understand, or has very slurred speech. Um, and T stands for a number of things. I think the thing that we try to uh, emphasize the most is time, because depending on the type of stroke, uh, or really for all types of stroke, trying to get the right treatment in the least amount of time allows us to protect the brain as best as possible. We only have a few minutes to save the brain because once there is injury to the brain, that injury becomes permanent. So the quicker we can reverse uh, injury to the brain, the better the outcomes.